Hey, and welcome back to my video channel on abstract painting and abstract art. I'm Matt Haynes, and uh, in the previous video, you, uh, you saw some paintings get pretty ugly in uh, part one of Go Ugly Early. And uh, in, this, uh, in this second part of the video, I'm continuing the process, but it's ugly with a purpose. What I'm doing is I'm refining the paintings, I'm adding layers, and uh, the composition is developing as we go. So uh, at the end, at the very end, I do reveal what the finished product looks like so you can see, um, you can see how these turned out. And I think they turned out pretty interesting. So uh, let's take a look. All right, so the three paintings that I, were, that I was working on, they've had time to dry for a couple of days. And um, I cheated a little bit. At this one here, I added uh, some green some um, olive green and probably something else too. So uh, I like this one the best so far. I like the color. The colors are interesting. It's a little similar to one I did a few weeks ago though. So I need to make sure that it's I'm not repeating myself and I also uh, I want to square things off a little bit. This is just a bit too angular kind of swoopy and swishy and uh, I'm not not digging that quite so much so the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to mix up some gray and I'm gonna block off some of the at least one area with uh, with some gray here and I'll probably be doing that with some of the other ones too all right Make sure I get enough contrast, but not not have it too dark. So let's, let me go with that. All right. Go to brushes any. Now this area seems unsupported over here, so I'm going to just kind of fill that in. But I want to square it off, as I mentioned. like that and maybe I'll do it just a little bit up in this corner here too but look at that uh, utility knife blade there that has got seen some use over the past few days a week. Let's press the edge again. Some marks up there breaking up the gray. And Here need some to mm, that's a bit even with that one there, so let's extend this up here. I don't like wouldn't want a line across like that. So instead of, you know, going um, perpendicular to the edge, sometimes you can, you know, scrape repeatedly along the direction of the edge and it just gives a different texture like that. And 
Let's scratch in here as well. Slightly lightly. Alright, and this is giving me I don't know. This, I don't know if this has moved it along. It's just forcing me in a different direction. <laughs> Which is it's almost like you're playing a chess game with yourself and you never know when you've won. Mm. So while I have this one up, I'm going to get some white going on in there too, just over the, uh, the existing white. Just to give it nuance and layers. And let's do this with a palette knife here. I'm trying to cover it per se. I'm just trying to cover it a little bit, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Not sure the gray was a great idea. Um, really just unloading my palette here. Or my uh, palette knife, rather. So, what if I... I'm going to try and just square this off. This could end up going in a completely different direction. Which is okay, because it, you know, it has a similarity to a painting I've already made. So, if it goes off into a wildly different direction, it's fine. if it looks any different. <laughs> well, of course it looks different. See if it looks any, if any particular direction speaks to me. Hmm. Uh, so far, no. Okay, so. <laughs> hmm, one more thing. Okay, so I'm going to get radical here. that alone for now. Um, the blockiness might actually work for it. Like I, I need to maybe get in some more black in here. We'll see. I don't know. This one, a lot of black too. So I'm just going to go straight to knocking it back with some white. Let's see, do I want some gray? I've already got some gray going on in there. Okay. So I'm going to open up this area with some white. Same deal. Now, I'm on these three paintings. It, I currently I'm doing I'm basically doing a production line where I'm doing the same color and going through the paintings. I at some point you have to stop that because then it just they all look too similar. You know, it's like, oh, time to put on the white, time to put on the green, time to put on the orange. And you have three very similar paintings. Well, and if that's what you're going for, that's great. But um, at some point, the painting has to start speaking for itself. And then you spend more time and maybe using different colors, different paints, spending different amounts of time on it. And uh, so I don't always work like this, where it's, oh, it's time for white paint. Let's load up the white paint on everything in, in the studio. The shapes are just a little bit too dynamic, <laughs> too squirrely. That is some chunk, that is like frosting, which you now is great when you paint over it later, get all that texture. All right, I'm gonna block out here too. This is why I don't spend that's why I don't buy expensive white paint, because I use a lot of it. White paint is white paint. Well. Just want to 
Stick this to the edge here. Still letting some of that black show through. And it's still really heavy. Let's move into this bit here. Okay. Basically, I'm just setting up my next moves. What they will be, I don't know. Um, okay. All right, this one too. Hmm. Let's do some more gray. <clears throat> Maybe not as light, but always. All right, so this there's a whole lot of ugly going on here, and not a lot of cool. Um, this I think I mentioned earlier. This I like. This is cool, but it's probably going to get obliterated. This up here though is just like a. Uh, several words come to mind, none of which are appropriate. So I'm going to paint over it. There's a rectangle for you. Okay. Come back that edge. Now, stuff is going to go over that, but yeah. It's one of those days where I don't feel like I know what I'm doing. You ever get those days? Everything's going to turn into rectangles. <laughs> well, but if that's the feeling, let's make rectangles. At which point you're probably asking yourself, well, why didn't he just start with rectangles then? Well, I wasn't in a rectangle mood the other day, and now I am. The thing is, most of this I want to get rid of, so it's just, it's got too ugly, too dark, too... Well, that sums it up pretty much, doesn't it? Now, I'm being conscious of the line there and the line here. I don't want to have this rectangle match up with those because it'll be too, too rectilinear, I guess. But there's enough white over this side that that's a little vague anyway. So. Oh, go right up to the gray, flirting with the gray. because, like I said, it's all ugly. <laughs> Save the worst for last. I'm doing the most damage. Okay, I'm gonna take out a whole section right here. Oh, that, getting my, that area, the one area that I like. I should probably just abandon it. Well. I can work with that. Not right now, but I can work with that. As I stand now, I do not uh, particularly like any of these, but the, I'm, I'm knocking back the ugly a bit, and that's a good thing. And I'll just have to keep going. Mm -hmm. 